is my dream. Liberty sows its seed at Far Point Farms. Hey guys, it's Eric. And this is Jen. And we're here at Far Point Farms, right? Yes, we are. <laughs> and Living room of Far Point Farms. Yeah, this is a new spot. We've never recorded in here. We've got this cool looking box. And Jen, what do you, what's going on with the box? It's Eric's new favorite toy. It is, or at least I hope it is. If you remember, last year we started the process of going off grid. We started in March, so exactly a year yeah, ago. About a year. Yeah, and we built slowly between March and July of that year. We built a 1.2 kilowatt off grid solar array. We built it out there, right? Mm -hmm. And you were a big part of that. In fact, crawling around underneath the house, running wires. Yeah, it pays to be short sometimes. <laughs> so, anyway, there are a couple of things you just can't do with the kind of solar power that we have right now. And what is one of those things? One of it is laundry. Yeah. Even though we have high efficiency washer and dryer, it is high efficiency in the sense that it uses less water. Water is not our issue. We run off of a spring here, so water is abundant and doesn't cost anything to supply the house with. Correct. But to do the laundry, it requires using that machinery. So I found this. These things were super popular on the internet a few years back mm -hmm. um, when we were doing our research. It seemed like every video was from about four years ago. So I don't know if that's when the technology came out or what. Could be, but we're bringing it back. Well, yeah, we're bringing it back. So I'm going to open this thing up. This is going to be a multi-part series because we're just going to unbox and kind of talk about what it can and can't do. And then in part two, we're going to run it off of the most minimal solar system you can think of. And then in part three, we'll hook it up to the actual house and show you how it works, right? Correct. Part two is going to be fun because it's going to be Eric does laundry. Eric is not a huge laundry man, so we're going to see how well that goes. <laughs> I have other duties to attend to, correct? Sure. <laughs> you know that. Let's see here. I don't even really remember the brand of this thing. But I don't either. Yeah, let me stand up and pull it out of the box here. Wow. It actually takes the whole box up. Mm -hmm. I need to slide that out of the way. So here it is, out of the box. and it's very, very compact. Yep. Which is perfect, because... Uh, we decide that we want to take it camping with us or something, it's not going to take up a whole lot of space. Yeah, in doing research on this, there are several different groups of people who would want to purchase something like this. People who live in an apartment complex but don't want to have to pay the quarters that it takes mm -hmm. or do the walking back and forth to get your clothes washed. People who have tiny homes and can't, doesn't have the space to do like a full-size washer and dryer. Mm -hmm. And uh, certainly RVs, camping. RVs. So if you had a small RV or even a, like a, a van camper, this would be something you could slap in there and run it off of. While it has hookups for water, it's not necessary to use the hookups for the water. You can literally add water by to pouring water right into the bins. And so what we have in this thing here is what? We've got the wash timer right here, so you can kind of set it to how you need. Um, I don't know if you can pick up that noise, but you can kind of hear it counting down. Um, we've got the different size loads that you want as far as standard agitation, soft which would be like your delicates, and then they've got the drain feature right here. And then this one is going to be your spin timer, so you can go ahead and try to get all that water out of the, uh, the laundry for you. It's not really a dryer, it just takes the moisture out of it, so when you do hang it dry, it, it won't take very long to dry it up. Right, so that was kind of interesting. So the big issue with conventional Oops. Conventional dryers is that they require a ton of heat as well as the motor to spin everything up. This unit and units like it operate off of just high speed spinner. And there's a spinner here. You put this little flap down in here. And again, in part two, we'll actually run this thing. But you put the flap down in there to keep the water from spraying up the top. And it just sprays it out the side. It runs out the drain. And that dries the clothes, from what we read, it, uh, pretty well. About 80% of it will be dry. Yeah, and of course, we have clothes lines here on the property. So that would finish drying it up. So we could do laundry in a relatively short amount mm -hmm. of time. Now, it's small. You know, you're not talking about running a full load of laundry. You're talking about running maybe two or three outfits at a time, right? But if you're in that situation where you need it, I know like um, a couple years ago, we had a really bad windstorm. Um, and even if I can just wash like um, socks, underwear, the, you know, the essentials, I can, I can definitely work with that. So definitely for an emergency. So that's it. What model number is this thing? It just says washing machine. It's an X. Y J zero zero one. It doesn't have a brand on it. Nope. So when we do the next one, we'll get that brand and we'll we'll put it in the description. Yeah, and I'll leave a link on the Amazon spot that we got it for. There's a lot of these out there, a lot under a lot of different brands. This one was probably one of the least expensive ones available. They all seem to 
look and I'm sure function pretty much Very the same. Very similar. Yeah. So I think they're just kind of rebranded over and over again. But it's cool. I'll turn it around. You can see the back real quick. Mm -hmm. um, you have just your standard 120 plug. And then you and have your hose your for your drain. And if you want to fill it, there's a hose on top to fill it with, uh, you know, like some of the video I watched was a Tap girl had it in a bathtub. Which might be where we film part two, for mm -hmm. all I know. So we might do it that way. But I'm kind of curious to see how well it cleans. One thing that's going to be different for us is we can't use the, the dishwasher or the washing machine fluid. No, the laundry machine fluid that we usually use. The soap. Yeah. No, no, we can. No, um, I thought you said we couldn't. No, that was in ours. So this one you can use. I think it's going to recommend that you use HE, which just means it has less suds. Um, so that's what our regular washing machine uses. I'll have to research the model to see how bad it would be if you used a different one. Okay. Oh, I thought we couldn't use HE in this. No. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Well, so that's it. I hope you've enjoyed it. This is Jen making one of her first videos as the cats destroy the house behind us. I hope you're enjoying the new phases of Far Point Farms. Jen has decided to join um, the video part of this. She's certainly a huge part of the farm itself, and it's it's cool to have her joining and doing fun stuff. I'm with just us. excited that Eric's going to do laundry, so that's going to be more exciting than anything. Sweet. Yeah. So we'll see if this will run off the GearTist power pack that I have. That is literally a 300 watt inverter and a 300 watt amp, and, and so I, it'll be close to see whether or not it has enough juice to power this. Yeah, this one said 280 watts, so it's right at the limit. But it'd be interesting to see if one single solar panel and one seven pound all-in-one power pack can get you some laundry done when the power goes out. Stick around for part two, because that's exactly what we're gonna do in part mm -hmm. two. And then in part three, we'll show you our permanent installation of this and just have it in our day-to-day -day life mm -hmm. as we move farther and farther off, off the grid. grid. Take care.